Amid skyrocketing vehicle prices, finding an affordable electric vehicle that meets one's needs has become increasingly challenging. Chinese car makers, including BYD, aim to address this issue. Enter the BYD Dolphin, offering the solution to balance EV prices and cater to the demand for high-quality electric vehicles. Enrollments for battery electric vehicles in the first 36 weeks of 2023 reached 257,507, a 63% improvement from 2022, accounting for approximately 7% of the total market, up from 4.6% in the first quarter of 2022. China leads as the world's largest electric vehicle seller, with 60% of global EV sales occurring in 2022. Furthermore, over half of all EVs driven worldwide are in China. Europe and the United States are the subsequent largest EV markets. In 2022, Europe experienced a 15% increase in sales, while the United States witnessed an impressive 55% growth compared to the previous year. The desire for electric vehicles has significantly grown in the past decade due to several factors. First, people prioritize the environment and seek cars with lower pollution emissions. Second, the availability of diverse electric vehicle models has expanded, offering more choices. Third, EV costs have become more competitive with traditional gasoline cars, making them affordable for many. Lastly, electric vehicles now boast improved driving ranges, enabling longer distances on a single charge. These factors have collectively elevated the popularity and demand for EVs. Many are unfamiliar with BWD, the Chinese company currently selling the nation's most affordable new electric vehicle. BYD poses a global threat to Tesla and has a growing fan base, which it translated into local sales success. BYD has become the second largest EV seller in Australia, following Tesla, less than a year after introducing its first volume selling car, the Addo 3 electric SUV in late 2022. Now, the company accepts orders for the Dolphin, which is priced $100 lower than the competing MG4 at $38,890, plus on-road charges. Factoring in on-road costs, the Dolphin is approximately $800 cheaper than the MG and around $5,500 less expensive than the Aura, another launch from the rapidly growing Chinese rival GWM. Chinese car brands possess an advantage over European manufacturers by offering products at lower prices, they achieve this through lower production costs and a vertical supply chain, enabling in-house production of everything from small parts like chips to larger components like mirrors. The Dolphin is anticipated to be a game-changer and will be available alongside another model, the Addo 3, in UK showrooms by the end of 2023. The Dolphin utilizes the same technology found in larger electric cars, featuring a 45 and 60 kWh battery capacity. This battery incorporates a special type known as the blade battery, which allows for more battery cells in a smaller space. The blade battery, made of lithium-ion phosphate (LFP), is cheaper to produce, longer-lasting, and cobalt-free. Its robust design enhances the car's structural rigidity and safety. Moreover, the BYD Dolphin EV includes a heat pump as a standard feature, significantly reducing battery consumption for the climate control system. Additionally, it offers a unique feature called Vehicle to Load, V2L, allowing the Dolphin to provide electricity to external devices, an innovation in the electric supermini market. Designed by Wolfgang Egger, who has worked with Audi, Alfa Romeo, and Lamborghini, its design is described as traditional, resembling a leaping dolphin. The front of the car boasts sleek headlamps, blending into a black plate covering the hood, devoid of fake vents. A small air intake cools the car's batteries. The side exhibits a rounded and elegant appearance, with noticeable lines on the doors. Standard 16-inch alloys adorn the wheels, while there is an option for 17-inch wheels. At the back, a light bar stretches across the entire width, featuring twisted LEDs for a visually appealing effect. Black trim on the lower portion adds to the sporty aesthetic. The Dolphin provides ample space accommodating passengers well over six feet tall with room to spare, addressing concerns raised about rear lidroom in the MG4. The interior features swoopy shapes across the dashboard and eye-catching turbine-style vents. The dashboard is adorned with soft-touch plastic and vegan leather, elevating the overall quality compared to the MG4. A massive 12.8-inch touchscreen, rotatable between landscape and portrait orientations, takes center stage 
A small digital driver's display provides vital driving information, while top-of-the-range models offer a panoramic glass roof for enhanced natural light inside the vehicle. With four standard 20-inch suitcase compartments, convenient storage is available in the trunk. Folding both seats flat expands the 345-liter boot to 1,310 liters through the 60-40 seat split. The Dolphin offers four trim levels, active, boost, comfort, and design. The first two trims feature a 45 kilowatt hour battery, allowing for 7 kilowatts AC charging and 60 kilowatts DC fast charging. The active trim level boasts 94 horsepower, while the Dolphin Boost offers 174 horsepower and an enhanced rear suspension. The active model provides a range of 211 miles, while the Boost delivers 188 miles of range. The Dolphin Comfort and Design trim levels are more advanced, equipped with a larger 60.4 kWh battery, enabling a range of 265 miles as per the worldwide harmonized light vehicle test procedure measurement. Charging rates for these trims reach 88 kW, with an upgraded 11 kW onboard AC charger. The motor in the Comfort and Design trims boasts 201 horsepower enabling the car to accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 7 seconds. The 60 kilowatt hours battery pack charges at a maximum of 88 kilowatts using a powerful charger, though it's slightly slower compared to competitors. It takes approximately 29 minutes to charge from 30% to 80%. However, with a three-phase power supply, the standard 11 kilowatts AC charging provides satisfactory speeds. The 45 kilowatt hours pack has slower charging speeds at 60 kilowatts DC or 7 kilowatts AC, but the rapid charge time from 30% to 80% is slightly faster. All versions feature vehicle to load technology and a heat pump for improved range in cold weather. The BYD Dolphin electric car is currently available in Europe and will soon arrive in the UK. Prices in Europe start at 29,990 euros around 25,800 pounds, with another model priced at 32,740 euros, approximately 28,000 pounds. Prices may vary slightly in the UK, as well as in Australia and other countries. The Dolphin has undergone slight modifications for the international market to meet Australian safety requirements, resulting in an increased length of approximately 20 centimeters, nearly 8 inches. The changes include a new structure at the front to enhance passenger protection in the event of a crash. Additionally, the front and rear bumpers, hood, and wing fenders have been redesigned. As a result, the Dolphin's overall length now measures 4,290 mm, almost 169 inches, placing it in the C-segment category. Standard features of the BYD Dolphin include autonomous emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, Lane Keep Assist, Cross Traffic Assist, Traffic Sign Recognition, Intelligent Speed Limit Assist, Airbags, Surround View Cameras, and Parking Sensors, Prioritizing Driver Safety and Convenience. The Dolphin EV comes with a comprehensive warranty covering both the vehicle and its battery. The vehicle warranty lasts for six years or up to 150,000 kilometers, while the battery warranty extends for eight years or up to 160,000 kilometers. This warranty provides owners with assurance and protection against certain issues for a specified period. BYD aims to commence electric car production in Europe by 2025, with plans to establish factories in France, Spain, and Germany. While they haven't announced their preferred country, they have decided against the United Kingdom due to Brexit. The final decision regarding the location will be made later this year. BYD Auto has been selling battery-powered transit buses in the United States for 10 years, manufacturing them at a factory near Los Angeles. When asked about the possibility of selling electric SUVs and sedans to Americans, BYD Auto stated that they are still deliberating and no final decision has been made yet. We'd love to hear your thoughts on BYD's expansion of electric vehicle sales in Europe and Australia, with plans to enter the American market. Drop a comment below and let us know what you think about this strategic move. Is it a smart decision for BYD? How do you think it will impact the electric vehicle market in these regions? And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more insightful videos on the latest developments in the automotive industry. Thank you for watching.